Now we have our last startup of the session, so Lucien from Bonavere. Welcome. Hey guys, uh, thank you for coming out. Thank you for being here. First and foremost, I think it's really awesome to see everyone here supporting all the startups, uh, trying to talk about what they're trying to do and the interactions they're trying to create with the customers and trying to reshape industries. And that's exactly where we sit as well. So uh, like the introduction said, I'm from Bonavita, and basically we're a coffee company. So it's a little bit strange for us to be here at Web Summit probably, considering we work in the coffee industry and not many people would really associate tech with coffee, right? So what we've done here is we've created the first coffee machine in the world that will roast green coffee beans, and then it will grind them, and then it will brew them, all in one process. So this may mean everything to some of you, and this may mean absolutely nothing to a lot of you, because that's what we deal with on a daily basis when we're talking to consumers. Not the, the, the level of knowledge people have about coffee varies greatly, and that speaks to the supply chain. It speaks to the lack of transparency and the lack of traceability within the supply chain. And it speaks to the lack of visibility farmers have and the lack of knowledge people have about the product that they're trying to provide you with. So I talked a little bit about the machine first. We have two mission statements. The first is change the way coffee is consumed. This is the baby. This is the tool we're going to use to try and do this. We offer our green beans in a single portion pouch. We don't work with, with pods. We don't work with little capsules. We work with a pouch, 100% biodegradable sustainable, and you can upcycle, and I'll show you how. So first of all, you open up the drawer here. This is your roasting chamber. This is what you put your green beans into. You take this little single portion pouch, and you just tear off the top like this. Super simple. In here is the green beans. My awesome colleague is going to be handing out these pouches in a second to show you these pouches. Open them up. Have a look at the green beans. Try and bite them. They're so dense that you can't grind them. You have to roast them. So this is something we can't get rid of. The roasting process needs to be in the supply chain or with the consumer. So we've said, OK, we'll take it out of the supply chain and we'll give it to the consumer. That's one thing out of the supply chain. So now you take this, you pour your green beans into the roasting chamber like that. Super simple. Put it back in here. And then you'll see your machine. It'll say scan in the scan field. What it's asking for is this, the RFID chip, which is underneath the sticker on the top of this pouch. If I tear this back, there's an RFID chip in here. Our head of roasting in our office makes custom roast profiles for every single type of green bean we offer on our online marketplace, unique to the farmer that we get these green beans from. So you need this roast profile. So it says scan. I give it a scan, shows a green light, and it's ready to go. I push the button, and a couple seconds later, the light show begins, and you get to watch your green beans roast in real time. Then they will grind, and then they'll brew, and then you'll have yourself a full pot of coffee. This is the freshest cup of coffee you can have in the world. It doesn't get any fresher, right? When you have green beans, you can take it at the beginning of a year. You can take it at the end of a year. You roast it, it'll taste exactly the same. It does not lose its flavor profile. So the idea here is, if you roast the green beans, and then you grind them, and then you brew them all in one process, you can't get a fresher and more flavorsome cup of coffee. We also have speciality grade coffee. Now, this is another education point I'm always talking to people about, right? Because there's different grades of coffee. We have the highest tier of coffee in the world available on the market. It's not commodity grade, it's speciality grade. And so what we're trying to do is say, we offer the best coffee possible, and you will always have the freshest cup possible. Now, what's this got to do with tech, and why are we at Web Summit? Basically, we have a second mission statement. And the second mission statement is to change the way coffee is perceived and traded worldwide. How are we going to do that? When I scan that RFID chip, this machine has IoT capability. So the machine says to our marketplace, oh, Lucien's roasting Florida Corazon, which is a cooperative of families in Mexico who work together on a farm. And then our marketplace says, all right, Bonaverde now must pay X amount to Florida Corazon because the consumer has used their coffee. So now we're trying to reshape the supply chain completely. On average, there's around 16 intermediaries who touch the coffee between farmer and consumer. The farmer has zero visibility, no opportunity to build their brand, and the financial reward for the hard work they put in is minimal, extremely minimal. And we're trying to change that, not just change it, we're trying to revolutionize the entire industry by taking these intermediaries out. We've taken roasting out, we've given it to the consumer. Now we've created an online marketplace whereby you can purchase green beans directly from the farmer, direct trade relationship, and then every time, thank you, every time someone uses these beans, the farmer will get paid 
as the beans are being used. So now it's an ecosystem. We've taken everyone out. The farmer gives us the beans. Then we take those beans, we give them to the consumer. The consumer uses the beans. And then we do a wallet-to-wallet -wallet payment system, whereby when the beans are used, the farmer gets paid. Now we're talking blockchain. Now we're talking cryptocurrency. How are we going to pay these people? How are we going to create a, an economy that's built off trust? And that's what it is. It's a trust economy, right? Because the farmers have to give us the beans without us paying them. Because what we're saying is you will get paid by the consumer. So now everyone invests in this marketplace. Now you support the farmers directly every time you drink a cup of coffee. And that's what we're trying to do. This is the machine that's going to give you the ability to do that. And that's our online marketplace. We'll put the farmers in a position to build their brand so that they can show you the quality of their product and you can support them just by using it. And you get a great cup of coffee in the process. And that's awesome. And I think coffee is really important to everyone in the morning. Before you came here, I'm sure you got a cup of coffee. There's enough people I see in the crowd with a cup of coffee at the moment. So I hope, please, support us. We're on bonavera.com is the website. You can check us out. You can see the machine. You can learn more. We have a YouTube channel. We're on social media. We're called Coffee Changes. We've done multiple crowdfunding um, uh, uh, campaigns in the past, which have been very successful. You can search us up on those on Kickstarter, Indiegogo, Seedmatch, Cedars. Please check us out. And, and thank you for coming out today. And thank you for listening. OK. Thank you very much. You're really making me wish I had coffee right now. Yeah, well, you guys <laughs> stick around long enough, and I'll have it for you. <laughs> okay, so let's see what questions we have here. Okay, you're talking about fairness and sustainability. Uh, single portion pouches uh, don't seem very sustainable to this particular person. What do you think? Fair question, maybe. I'm not, I'm not sure where that's going, but essentially the entire packaging is 100% biodegradable. What I'm holding here in my hand is the remainder of the package where I had the green beans inside. No more buying filters. No more going to the supermarket and having to get your filter because this is now your filter. So you use the rest of your packaging, you open up your filter drawer, you put it in here, you put it back inside, I have nothing left except this. And this soon will become a badge that you can use, you can share with your online community, you can talk to other people, you can discuss the coffee, you can ask questions about the coffee. In the future, we would like to have a marketplace whereby you can have calls with the farmers on dates and create that relationship. And this is possible, we do it. We just need to bring this to you, the consumer, so that we can build these relationships. So this soon will also be upcycled into a badge that you can use for the online marketplace. Okay. Uh, next question: Is this for consumers, you know, in private homes, or is this yeah. for businesses? Good, yeah. Good question. Good. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, we have around three to four thousand machines worldwide. We, we focus on Europe at the moment. We're building the business case uh, in Europe, but uh, essentially, this is great for the home. This is great for your office. We have this in offices around the world. We have lots of people who want this in their office as well, not just because you're getting a quality cup of coffee, but because you're supporting a good cause. And we have an app, so you can schedule your coffee as well. So whether you're at home or you're at work, if you want coffee when you walk out of bed, or if you want coffee when you walk into the office, you put the green beans in the night before or whenever you want, schedule your cup of coffee with your favorite roast profile. You can choose the one we recommend. You can make your own, or you can choose one out of the variety of roast profiles that we have and play around a little bit. And then the coffee will be ready for you when you've scheduled it. So this really works for offices, uh, for consumers, uh, in their home as well. So it's, it's, it's wherever you feel it fits best for your personal life. That's, that's what coffee is. It's, it's, it's a subculture. It exists where you want it to exist. Okay. Yeah. All right, we have a couple of questions that are very similar. You know, how long does this take from start to finish to get a cup good of question. coffee? Yeah, yeah, good question. Uh, you're looking at about 20 minutes. So basically, our roast profiles range from 8 to 12 minutes, and then the grind and brew process is 8 minutes. So it's not very long for a machine that roasts, grinds, and brews. And you can use it as a modular machine as well. So you're not just getting one coffee machine that brews. You're getting a roaster that you can use to just roast the coffee. You're getting a grinder that you can just use to grind your coffee. And you're getting a brewer if you just want to brew some coffee. So, yeah. Okay. Sorry. I love this next question from KH. I backed you on Kickstarter right six now, years ago. Right now, when where, are you? where are you? Who's where are KH? you? Who's KH? Yes, you can have a machine. We have machines. We're trying to talk to people. This is very hard to communicate because we have backers out there from these crowdfunding campaigns that still haven't got them. Yes, there you go. Yes. This is what we're trying to do. Yes. Yes! Okay. Uh, uh, another one. Uh, I tried the coffee yesterday, loved it. Can I buy one? Can I buy a machine today? Yes, yeah, yeah. So, again, like I was saying before, we have a, an online marketplace that's live. A couple of weeks ago, we just celebrated one week in the market, which we are extremely happy about. 
Um, and so, yeah, go to bonavita.com. It's smack bam right there in the middle of the page. Click one button, and you've got yourself a coffee machine. One thing I didn't, member, uh, didn't uh, uh, say before is that we offer a membership model, whereby you purchase the machine, and you become a coffee changer member. You are then a coffee changer. At that point, we offer smart delivery. So you get your first, uh, the, the machine arrives, the coffee arrives, and then we offer 30 pouches in a, uh, in, a, in a box. And basically, when you use 28 out of those 30 pouches, we trigger a delivery on our end, and we send you a new box. So you never get too much coffee, and you never get too little. It's always just the right amount. OK, is this fair to the farmers? You know, are they financing your business because you're paying them so much later? Yeah, I mean, there's no two ways about it. We're, we are a for-profit business. But we also have the online marketplace, which we're building at the moment. And this isn't available yet. But to increase transparency, one of the actions we're taking is to basically provide you with the financial information as to where the money goes when you purchase our coffee. So you'll see how much will go to the farmer every time you use that coffee. You'll see how much money we get every time you use that coffee. And in the future, we have a product coming out which will be very good for cafes, where you can put it on top of a grinder and roast coffee as well. And then this is, this, that's another conversation. But then you, we'll see how much money the cafes get as well, and then you'll see how much you pay, you see the full breakdown. Um, so you'll fully understand where that money's going, and you'll see the support that's going to the farmers. And then hopefully that level of transparency will reduce any doubt that, that's out there about what we're trying to do. OK, Lucy, thank you very much. We're out of time for questions. No worries. I'm out here Good if luck. you want to talk. Thank you.